a massively requested review the fly x-line cheek head guard finally hello and welcome to fit to box channel i'm simon and today i've got a review of the fly x-line night x cheek guard head guard on here fit to box channel i review all things boxing from gloves to head guards groin guards anything at all to do with boxing i'm exposed to all of this gear at the gym being a full-time trainer and i've been involved in boxing for 20 years and equipment is my passion so i've been massively requested to do this head guard and i'm not surprised it is a very popular head guard for people to buy of course fly are superb when it comes to head guards this of course being the x line which is their cheaper version as in this is the synthetic version not the leather version and it's also made in china not made in the uk when it comes to the colors they come in the red with the white logo the blue with a gold logo green with a gold logo white with a silver logo and black with a white logo so there's a lot of colors out there for you to buy um this one in the red i really like this i've got the matching gloves and groin guard so you can get them as full sparring sets so 135 pounds for this head guard now the premium leisure leather version is 260 pounds okay so a massive saving if you're going to go from the fly premium leather to this one the synthetic leather let's not forget that winnings fg 2900 is a synthetic leather head guard okay um, and the synthetic leather of both of them this one and the winning fg 2900 is excellent i would say that once you have bought these head guards you will never have to buy another head guard during your boxing career that's how sturdy the synthetic leather is so again what you can do is you can put your initials on here so just a little bit of customization that fly do whereby you can add some initials uh, there is a course that's saving of £125 between this Fly X line and the full leather version. In terms of sizes, this one is a large. Um, the small is 19.5 inches to 21. Medium, 21 inches to 22.5. This is a large, which is 22.5 inches to 24. So this perfectly fits me and then you've got an XL version which is 24 inches to 25 inches well uh, 25 and a half inches actually okay so if you have got a large head they do accommodate that with the XL version when it comes to the weight this head guard is super lightweight at 10.2 ounce okay so that is hardly anything that is equivalent to sort of the winning when it comes to the weight when you've got it on you can't even feel you've got it on because 10.2 uh, ounces is is practically nothing on the top there you have got the lace to make the size right at the top of your head you have got the lace at the rear to make sure it's right at the rear and then you've got that plastic clip there which is the fastening that i prefer actually i prefer that um, over the belt and buckle that uh, fly have used in their full face head guards so i much prefer that i just think it's easier to get on with so let me just put this on so you can see okay so it is based on the winning fg 2900 and the reason i say that is because of those cheek bars okay so lots and lots of uh brands out there do copy the winning cheek bars now what i will say is i do think that this is visually different um it seems to be a little bit sort of narrower and these instead of sort of going in and down seem to sort of go out and in so for me style wise i don't think it looks as good as the winning 29 
Um, but the vision wise, you do get more with the vision with those sloping down. So it's a little bit of an exchange, more vision for less style. So obviously when you're in the ring, what you're really looking for is you're looking for performance. You're looking for being able to see the shots coming at you. And that is where that little bit of a slope does help you. Now, if I go to there, I'm looking over there. I can see the camera. I'll just show you at the back there. There is obviously just pull that tight. But that is a nice fitting head guard around my head. And let me just go the other way as well. So I'm looking there and I can see the camera. Good protection all the way around. Now, there is other cheek guard head guards that have got a bit more sort of nose protection. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, this, as it goes around, it's comfortable, it's lightweight, there's good vision. Um, I'd say there's just a bit less protection to those straight shots to the front, even though you have got these cheek bars. So in there, you've got a triple foam protection as well. And let's get up the fit to box cheek card. Okay, style, I've got 94, mainly because of that shape, I've marked it down a little. I don't think it looks as good, certainly on me, as, say, a winning uh, FG 2900. Comfort-wise, 96. That's a great score for comfort. Durability, uh, 95. This will last you forever and a day. Or, as I say, I think you won't have to buy another head guard during your boxing career. Vision, 96. So that's an excellent score there. Protection, 93. A little bit less protection on the front that you get from those um, front cheek bars uh, than say your uh, Venom head guard which has got real sort of bigger bigger lumps at the front and does seem to protect the nose and mouth a little bit more. Value for money 96 great score and that is 135 English pounds for this very robust artificial leather head guard. So overall score of 95 so that is a two star fit to box a uh, great head guard okay so two stars great head guard it's a very comfortable head guard it, it, what it gains on the vision i think it loses a little bit on the style but it is super well made and to come out there with a two star great head guard rating go on to my website fit to box channel.com have a look at the cheek head guard list to see where this head guard slots in so i hope you enjoyed that please like and subscribe to fit to box channel and i shall speak to you soon